In this problem, we're going to prove that the set of integers, capital Z, has the same cardinality as the set of in even integers, uh, which we're denoting by uh, 2 times uh, capital Z. So let's go ahead and do it. So proof. So to prove that um, two sets have the same cardinality, we simply have to prove um, that there's a bijection between them. So we need to define a function from, from z into 2z that is bijective. That means it's 1 to 1 and also on 2. So let's do that. So define f from z into 2z by, let's say f takes an integer n, and we want the result to be in 2z. So uh, all even integers can be written as 2 times an integer. So the natural thing to do is to take n and send it to 2n. So now we just have to show it's bijective. Again, that means it's um, 1 to 1 and on 2. So let's do each piece individually. So claim f is 1 to 1. So we'll first uh, show that. So I'm going to come over here on the side and just recall um, what that means. So it's 1 to 1. So f is 1 to 1. If whenever the outputs are the same, so whenever f of a is equal to f of b, then the inputs are the same. So a is equal to b. And this has to be true for all a, b in the domain. So to prove this, we start by assuming f of a is equal to f of b. So suppose f of a is actually equal to f of b. Well, f of n is 2 times n, so f of a is just 2 times a, so this means 2a is equal to 2b. And so we just divide by 2, so a is equal to b. And so we've shown f is 1 to 1, because we started with f of a equals f of b, and we arrived at a equals b, so really simple. Thus, f is 1 to 1. It's really an exercise in, you know, do you understand uh, the definitions? It's not a hard problem at all, uh, but it's important. It's an important one because it's important to know the basics. So claim f is onto. This is where it gets a little bit harder uh, for a lot of people. A lot of people have a hard time with the definition of onto. It has a lot more quantifiers in it. Um, so a function f, I'll recall what it means over here, from capital A to capital B, where capital A is the domain and capital B is the codomain, is onto or surjective if for all, that's what the upside down A means, little b and capital B, there exists, so that's the backwards E, some element A in capital A, which is the domain, such that f of A is equal to b. So this is the definition of onto. Most of the time when people are having a hard time with this stuff, it's usually um, the definition's an issue or the problem's really hard. In this case, uh, the definition might be the issue if you're having a hard time with this. So we'll start by taking an element in capital B, which is, this is our b, by the way, this 2z, and this here is our a. So take any, and I'll, I'll even call it b, b and 2z. Well, 2z is a set of even integers, so that means b is equal to 2n for some integer n. That's what it means for uh, an integer to be even. And we've actually, we're just pretty much done. We just have to write down the final sentence. So we had to come up with an integer n. We came up with it immediately when we did this because this is what it means for something to be even. So that actually produced the existence of our little a. That's going to be our little a right there, just like naturally came about. So then f of n, that's our little a, is equal to, so by definition of our function, okay, f of n is 2n. But 2n is equal to b. And so we did it. So for our little b in capital B, this is our capital B, we found some little a in capital A. So for all little b in capital B, we have a little a in capital A, such that f of little a is equal to b. So this means f is on 2. And again, it's just satisfying this definition right here. 
So because it's one to one and onto, it's called a bijection. So since f is one to one and onto, it is bijective. So you have a bijection between the set of integers and the set of even integers. That means that they are countably equivalent. In other words, they have the same number of elements. In other words, they have the same cardinality. So thus, the cardinality, so I'll just write card of z is equal to the card of 2z. And that completes the proof. I hope this video has been helpful.